Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Mrs. Emily Paints. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this matte eyeshadow look with the Nine Years Later palette by Dose of Colors. Please let me know if you guys have any color suggestions for me to use for my eyeshadows down below in the comments. Whenever you guys can, I would appreciate the help. First, we're going to be going in with this dark black eyeshadow color and we're going to be building up the intensity, you guys. I did not set my concealer as usual, so I'm going to be adding this to this outer corner. Stay in that spot specifically. You can go a little bit above your crease, just not too high up there. As you guys can see, there's still some space between my eyebrow and the shade. And then we're also going to be bringing this into this inner corner and we're going to be applying it at the same height. And just make sure you guys continue to use tapping motions to build up the black color because you guys this color gets so messy so try to keep it in that area so it doesn't go all over the place and you don't look like you have a black eye right now i'm just going to be adding some more product you guys i want to get the darkest the darkest shade that i can and remember you guys i have mentioned this in other videos dose of colors has the best eyeshadow palettes i swear they're so easy to blend and they are so pigmented now we're going to be going in with this brown shade and we're going to be blending this out at the very very top do not touch your eyebrow do not touch your eyebrow just keep this among the top of the black shade and we're going to be blending this out in side to side motions and kind of draw out like a little wing at that corner like I just did. And we're going to be doing the same thing on the other side where we created the other black dot. Did you guys hear that little kid in the background? <laughs> it's one of my neighbors. I swear I never get any silence here in this house anyways i'm gonna take this brown shade towards the middle area as you guys can see i'm blending this slightly in the middle right there as soon as that area is blended you guys we're gonna be taking this to the outer corner and just make sure we kind of draw out a little wing as you guys can see because at the end of this tutorial we usually clean out that outer edge and it looks so nice and sharp Remember, ladies, we have to be blending side to side and in small circles until the eyeshadow looks super smoky and well blended. Next, we're going to be going back in with the black eyeshadow, you guys, and we're going to be rebuilding that up because it did go away a little only because we were blending out the other shade, which is completely normal. Don't get scared. <laughs> and we're going to also take this towards that outer corner. As you guys can see, the brown and the black connected in that edge. And we're also doing this towards that inner corner. Next, we're going to be going in, you guys, with this lighter shade. And we're just going to be using this to blend out the top. It's okay if you touch your eyebrow because this is a very very light shade so nothing bad will happen <laughs> and we're just going to be blending this out with the brown at the top now we're going to be going in with that brown again and we're just going to build up the intensity all the way through you guys in small circular motions and we're going back in with the black shade and we're going to be taking this in towards the middle the reason why I waited to do this till the end towards the middle is because I wanted every other shade at the top to be blended before I applied the black so that it looks smooth. As you guys can see, it's looking very, very nice in that middle section. Next, we're going to be taking our makeup remover liquid, you guys, and these pointy Q-tips, which I sell on my website if you guys are interested. The link is down below. And we're going to be using this to clean out our not a crease but like that middle section i'll show you guys what i'm talking about right now <laughs> so now we're using the q-tip slightly like this and we're only going to be removing that center area and make sure we line up the top carefully and i'm also going to be using the other side of the q-tip which has nothing on it just to clean out the extra oil that is left over because we need this as clean as possible so that we can apply our base right on top also a quick tip whenever you're cleaning this out with the q-tip you guys make sure you go a little bit above your crease because you want it to be visible when you open up your eye next i'm going to be going in with the beauty creations foundation i almost drew a blank right now i swear <laughs> and we're going to be using this as our base you guys i love the thick consistency i mentioned this in every video <laughs> you get the nicest and most flawless base ever with this foundation so i'm going to be using this on that blank area that we just removed and we're going to be using little tapping motions to carefully apply this 
This brush, you guys, is from my website. If you guys are interested, the link is down below. It is actually part of a brush set that I sell on my website. So make sure you guys go check it out. And we're going to carefully be applying this, you guys, especially at the very, very top. Make sure that line is straight. And next, we're going to be going in with this light, light shade. And we're going to be applying this right on top of that base, you guys. I really, really love this light color, you guys. It pops out so nice when we finish this look. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about. Or you saw it in the beginning, but oh my god, that's besides the point. <laughs> it looks so nice and matte. Make sure you cover up every single part of that base, you guys. Use a flat brush. This is from Morphe. And I believe this is from one of the Jeffree Star collections that they have. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it is from Morphe. <laughs> Anyways, next we're going to be going in with this light shade at the edges, you guys. And this is just because we need to blend those harsh lines out. So we're going to do the same on the inner area and the outer area just to make sure we cover that up. And now we're going back in with this brown shade and we're going to be tapping this down on here. Oh my god, I almost tripped over my words right now. <laughs> we're gonna do the same thing on both sides you guys and after this we're gonna be going in with the black shade and we're gonna do the exact same things do not cover up the other shades you guys the browns make sure when you're blending out the black eyeshadow you do not cover them out because we want them to be peaking in that center area so as you guys can see i'm not dragging the black all the way through and if i do a little bit i will pat it down with some more of the browns just so it blends out good next i'm going in with the clean q-tip you guys and i'm going to be using my waterline as a guide and we're going to be dragging this out all the way to that outer corner you guys this makeup remover liquid is my favorite and remember you guys get your q-tips down below in the description they are from my website this just gives it this nice sharp look at that edge i love it now we're going to be using the Morphe mascara, you guys. I don't really have eyelashes, so we're only going to be applying a couple of coats just so that they blend in with my lashes. Also, you guys, these lashes are from Amazon. I'm going to link them down below from my storefront, and you guys can check them out. Anyways, you guys, that is the end of this tutorial. This is the finishing look when it's all put together. Remember to comment brown down below so that I know that you're a real one and you watch this video all the way through. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click the like button and also remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!